Alright, just doing a HD recording test for Transport Fever. See how it looks on this. Settings on this are two times anti-aliasing, and everything is the same as it was before. The only difference is I'm recording at 1080, I'm encoding at 1080, and I'm uploading at 1080. Uh, frame rate is actually pretty good, but high speed pass there. Well, uh, we're, we're just cruising along. I can't wait till we get to the diesel and electrics in this. Definitely want to get those. The, the, oh, I have, can't remember what they were. I think they were the Altas, the Alta PA or something like that. It's like basically the equivalent of the diesel electrics that we have today. And another one I can't wait to get to is the stainless steel train that we have. Half the reflections coming off of that thing. It's so beautiful. Uh, I also did, uh, didn't even realize about that. So we can get rid of like the station icon so we can have the bus stops, depots, signals if we want. And I actually might keep the signals off. Just it looks kind of cluttered seeing this long line of signals all, all the way there. But it's, yeah, it's not too bad. Let's get right down to a town here. Not inside a building. Let's actually follow somebody. Uh, there we go. First person. It'd be nice if you could actually control the people to be able to walk around. Hello. Oh, he disappeared. Anyway, she's going to work. Where does she work? Oh, this is cool. You can actually follow them. And, ooh, you can name them too. Ooh. I wonder if there's a way to actually follow them, like track them. It's basically Sims. Sim City, Sims, and uh, I haven't played it, but from what I hear, Train of Fever. So that is pretty cool. We definitely gotta deal with this oil. Really do. Uh, but I have some plans. We have money. Wow, we made a lot of money since I've been here.